Let us try to write our standard equation of the parabola with a given uh, scenario wherein we are given the vertex as 1, 1 with vertical axis and passing through 3, 2. So what we are given is the vertex and so with the axis of symmetry which is vertical axis and passing through our point 3, 2. So the parabola there passes through the point 3, 2. So what we are going to do is to draw what will be the scenario here and then identify again the opening um, H, K, and A. So plotting now our 1, 1. 1, 1 is here because we have here our x which is 1, our y which is 1. So this is our vertex and it says here this is a vertical axis with a vertical axis so meaning to say your axis of symmetry will always be passing through our vertex. So this is a vertical axis and passing through 3, 2. So 3, 2, so we have our 3 here on the x-axis and 2 on the y. So this will be our point. Now your parabola there, if you try to look at this, the vertex is here and then we've got a point on the parabola which is here. So our opening there is somewhat like opening 2, our um, up or upward. So most likely this will be the other point here. So this is what our parabola would look like. So again, we've got our opening here based on that particular um, graph. So we've got opening is upward and then our H and K is on the vertex here. We've got H is 1, K is 1 and uh, we don't have an A. So A is a no. So how do we find our A? We can find our A by simply plugging in those information that we've known on our standard equation of the parabola. So for opening, we've got that one as x minus h squared. That will be equal to 4a times y minus k. And then plugging in, we've got our x minus our h, which is 1 squared, equal to 4a, and then times y minus our k, which is 1. Now, since we wanted to look for a, we are going to plug in those x values and the y values of the point on the parabola so that we can look for a. So x here will become 3 and then minus 1 squared. That will be equal to 4a times our y there is 2 minus 1. Simplifying that 1, we've got 3 minus 1, that is 2, and then squared. That will be equal to 4a. 2 minus 1 is 1. So simplifying that one further to solve for a, so we've got that one as uh, 4 equal to 4a. And then we divide this by 4, and so with that 1, so this is 1 equal to a, or a equal to 1. So we have now our a. So going back to this equation here, so this will now become, um, th that will now become x minus uh, h squared equal to 4a times y minus k. This will become now uh, x minus our h is 1 squared equal to 4 times 1 as our a and then y minus our k there is 1 and then this will be now becoming x minus 1 squared that will be equal to 4 times y minus 1. So that is our standard equation of our parabola. So this time we are given out the vertex with negative 2, 3 with horizontal axis and passing through negative 5, 1. So first we are going to plot that one here. So by plotting we have our negative 2, 3. So on x we are to find negative 2, so this is here. And then we move up to where y, which is equal to 3 is. So this is our vertex here. Next, we are going to draw the horizontal axis. So since it says there horizontal axis, that means to say this will be our axis of symmetry that passes through y, which is equal to 3. Next, we are going to locate the other point, which is negative 5, 1. So we've got x here, which is negative 5. And then we move up to where y is equal to 1. So this is where our point is. So since we've got the axis of symmetry there, so we will be drawing our parabola. So from this one here, we are going to draw or connect that one with a vertex. So most likely, since this is our axis of symmetry, 
then we must have equal distance to the other point on the other side of the para parabola. So this one is our other point. So we are going to connect that one there. So this is how our parabola looks like. The parabola there is opening to the left. So again, we've got an opening already, which is to the left. And then we have already our vertex, which is with h equal to negative 2, our k equal to 3, but we don't have an a. It's not proper to, for us to say that those endpoints that I've drawn there is our endpoints of the lattice rectum because it's not mentioned in there. It is only said that negative 5, 1 is a point on the parabola. So we are to look for our a by simply using our standard equation of the parabola. So we've got to the left, that means to say we have y minus k squared equal to negative 4a times x minus h. So plugging in all the information that we've had, so we have here y minus our k there is 3 squared equal to negative 4a times x minus our h, which is negative 2. So this is now y minus 3 squared equal to negative 4a times x plus 2. So next we are going to plug in those x and y value on our point given as your graph of the parabola passes through. So we've got here y which is 1 minus 3 squared equal to negative 4a times x which is negative 5 and then plus 2. So we will now be simplifying this, 1 minus 3, this is negative 2 squared equal to negative 4a times negative 5 plus 2, that's negative 3. So simplifying that 1, negative 2 squared, that's 4, equal to negative 4 times negative 3, that makes it positive 12. So we've got 12a for this, we divide this by 12, and so with this one, so our a here is... Uh, equal to 412, or that will be simplified as with common factor, which is 4. 4 divided by 4, that's 1. Over 12 divided by 4, that's 3. So our A here is 1 third. So writing now our standard equation of the parabola. So we start from here because this is the simplified one. So we have y minus 3 and then squared equal to negative 4. Our A there is 1 third and then times x plus 2. So simplifying this part here, we have y minus 3 squared, that will be equal to negative 4 times 1 third, that makes it negative 4 thirds, times x plus 2. So this is now our equation of the parabola. So this is it, so I hope you were able to learn something from this video and always remember that in math the secret in math is for you to practice more and more so that once you encounter a similar problem you will, you will be able to answer that one using the steps that you've got uh, you practice with and then somehow be upgrading that one to your own way of solving it similar to your problem if you've got a problem once you encounter that one you will be able to solve that one because you've already experienced that one and will be somewhat upgrading the solution for that one so once again this is your teacher jenny saying good luck and have a nice day